Hi guys, it's Leon based in here. And today I want to share with you a major update to one of my most used 3D rendering software, Octane Render. So what is Octane Render? Octane Render is a 3D render engine which calculates the final image output of 3D projects. It is used in various production environments around the globe. You can find out more on their website. As you can see from our previous videos, I'm currently building a 3D sculpting workstation for my home studio. I went with a Mac laptop this time around, but as most of you know, Mac OS left the 3D rendering scene for a while now. Until now, Apple along with Otoy, Oxygen Render's parent company, came together over a year ago to bring 3D rendering back to the Mac, particularly GPU rendering, which Octane Render is the fastest one out there. So let's talk hardware. My current setup is a MacBook Pro 16 inch with a Radeon 5500M GPU. And this is connected to a GPU box which houses a 57XT Radeon card. The eGPU is connected to the MacBook through a single Thunderbolt 3 port. The eGPU itself has USB type 3 ports and since the eGPU is housed in there, you can connect external displays directly to it. I'm going to run some benchmarks to give you guys an idea how comparable AMD is on Apple's Metal system versus Nvidia's CUDA system. For this test, I'll be using the high-end consumer versions of the GPU manufacturers. I'll be using the 2080 Ti and the 1080 Ti from Nvidia and the 5700 XT and 5500M from AMD. I conducted these benchmarks using my personal works to show real world render times. As expected, the 2080 Ti came out on top and the 5500M is at the bottom since it's an internal GPU. But what's really good is that the 5700XT did come close to the 1080 Ti in certain tasks. So in conclusion, should you buy a new Mac system for strictly 3D rendering at this moment? Short answer is no. Long answer, if you love the Mac ecosystem, then yes. The performance is really unresponsive at times on the base GPU. After a few minutes of usage, the computer does overheat and throttle since the dedicated GPU is at full power. If you're a Windows user, you're, you aren't missing anything here. The AMD's pricing is higher on the graphics cards and you'll receive lower performance overall compared to Nvidia's. Also, since the new Octane X uses Metal and not OpenCL, that means AMD cards still won't work on Windows versions of Octane Render. To close this thing off, it is a great step in the right direction. Now I'm able to at least edit some nodes or do some quick look developments on the go with my MacBook. I really hope this continues down further down the line since Apple will be using their own GPU soon, but we'll see how that works. So I'll catch you guys on the next one later.